Hello, and welcome to another edition of CUDACasts. In this video, I will show you how to use the new analysis reporting mode in the race check tool built into CUDA MemCheck, a new feature in CUDA 5.5. CUDA MemCheck is a correctness checking tool for CUDA applications that is packaged with the CUDA toolkit. This is a cross-platform, lightweight tool that can quickly isolate and identify errors in CUDA applications. For this demonstration, we will use the race check tool to identify data access hazards to shared memory. Here we have a CUDA implementation of Conway's Game of Life. The user-defined parameters passed into this application control the size of the grid and the number of iterations or steps to simulate for. The application works by generating a two-dimensional grid of cells that are then randomly assigned to be alive or dead. It then launches a CUDA kernel with one thread per cell. Each thread copies its corresponding element from the input array to a temporary buffer in shared memory, computes the next value in separate shared memory buffer for each iteration. At the end of each iteration, the current and next array pointers are swapped. At the end, the CUDA kernel copies the shared memory buffer into global memory that is then read by the host code. The implementation also generates a reference value by having just one thread perform the computation for the entire array by looping over all the cells. The host code then compares the parallel version against the reference, and if there's a mismatch, prints an error message. Otherwise, just the successful passing array is printed. Let's go ahead and compile this application. We'll then run a 5x5 five five grid over 9 steps. If we increase the iteration count to 10, we will see what the next step would be. Now if we scale this up to a 7x7 seven seven grid with 10 steps, we see that there is a mismatch between the reference version and the parallelized version. To quickly identify the source of the problem, we will run the race check tool built into CUDA memcheck on the application. To run race check, just proceed the application with the command CUDA memcheck tool race check. We can also use the analysis mode built into race check to help us identify the locations of these errors. Now, race check reports that the application contains shared memory access races. Since we built the application with the dash line info flag, the race check tool reports the locations of these accesses. Looking at the output, we can see that there are races between writes at lines 81, 84, and 86, and reads at 47, 48, and so on. If we switch back to our source, and we go to these lines of code, for example, line 81, we see that the problems are between the reads to shared memory and the get neighbor count function, and also writes to shared memory in the update cell function. Ordering these reads and writes by introducing an explicit call to sync thread should remove this non-determinism for fending the race. Working our way back up to the calling site of update cell, we can see that the update cell is called from the main loop. Inserting a sync threads at line 169 should explicitly order these accesses. After inserting the call and recompiling the application, and then rerunning with the CUDA memcheck race check tool, we see that there are no errors. And in fact, if we run the original code, we will see that the self-verification also passes. This has been a brief demonstration of the race check tool built into CUDA memcheck. Additional information about the features of CUDA memcheck and the race check tool are present in the manual at docs.nvidia.com. A quick summary of the command line option to CUDA memcheck can be attained by using the dash dash help option. Thank you for watching this edition of CUDAcast.